Hello, it's Joe Lines, and in this video I'm, I'm going to continue on using functions, and this time i um, showing how you can have default values um, so you don't always have to pass a, a given value for a function. So let's create a function called, let's say, um, name. So name, here's the spot for my parameter. Um, actually, let me leave that blank for now. Um, in it, we're going to say message box hello bear alright and here we are going to pass bear um, now this is uh, right now there's nothing new right we're gonna say we're gonna define um, bear equals Joe and then I'm going to call my function, which is going to be name bear. Now when I save this and reload it, so it says hello Joe, right? Nothing new here. It's passing um, Joe, which, you know, just to simplify this, let me add it. Ooh, hey. So I can do it here. So this time I'm not going to reference the uh, the variable. I'm just going to go ahead and pass it a text value. There we go. Hello, Bob. Um, but what if I wanted to have it? Hey, you know what? What if I didn't pass it a name? Let's pass. Um, let's have a default name there. And so what you can do is you can say var buddy. Now I'm going to come back up in here. I'm going to save this reload it and launch it, it's going to say hello buddy, right? If I do pass in a name, Chad, it'll say hello Chad. If I, actually, let me go ahead and do this where I pass, do it consecutively. Two, two different calls to the same function. So, here, the first one, I passed in a, a, a value to my variable, and it took it, but the second one, I didn't, and so it put in the default, which I have set to equal buddy if I don't pass anything. Um, the one caveat to remember in this, I forget the name of it, but um, there are some programming languages where you can define the name and put it in whatever order you want, but auto hotkey, you can't do that. Um, so if you had, let's say this is x, y, and then ver, um, you can only have those of the default value to the right, right? That means the required ones will always be on the left. Um, you can't have it where the the middle one here, let's say it was like this, and you can't define this without, um, you can't make this optional and then this one required because AutoHotKey doesn't understand the order of things and it's going to go look for it um, because if it was optional, um, I mean, this part makes sense, but when you pass in here X and Y, it is going to take them in the order, and it doesn't know that this is optional, and it's not going to treat it optional, and so it would say that this is missing because it sucked it up here even though you didn't pass one. Um, some other programming tools I use will say, I can tell it up here what X, Y, and Z are, and so or X, Ver, and Z, and so I could skip out Ver, but in AutoHotKey, you have to put them in order, so your required is going left, your variable, and you can have plenty of them. It's just that, just remember, you can't have them in the order. The, the required are on the left, and um, optionals are on the right. And uh, it's it's a very handy way to, you know, often, you, if you have such a, a, a value in your function that you use 99% of the time, you know, go ahead and define it as the default um, value, and that way you don't always have to pass it. It makes it optional, but you don't have to pass it um, and change it. That's it. Thanks.